I have been loathing painting the bus. I watched other people do it. Wash, dry, sand, tape, spray paint, tape again, spray again, then you gotta spray a high gloss. No thank you. Way too much work for me. And so that's why you see me with a can of barn red paint and a hand brush. And it came out exactly the way I wanted. I've already put on Rust-Oleum primer onto this. Heavy metal rust something or other. It, lo it looks brown. It is brown. Anyway, you put your primer down and then you put your paint down. And right now we're painting the roof red, which was a mistake. I should have painted the roof white. Uh, it was just easier in the moment because I didn't know how to delineate between the roof and the sides of the bus. So I just made everything red. I will be coming back to this and painting the roof the roof white. That's to keep the heat off, it reflects the sun, keeps it cool in the summer, etc, etc. But for now it's red. So we're moving on, I'm painting the rest of the bus red, and I honestly do not care too much about over brushing. You can see this rubber gasket around the window. I've got primer on it. I'm getting the red on it. I'm going to come back with a high gloss black and paint over that carefully. So everything's going to pop. But yeah, in the meantime, I'm just having fun with this. I, I really do mean it. I thought I was going to hate painting the bus. But you know, I just kind of got in a groove. I was paying attention to each little piece. I'd paint it. I mean, I, granted, I wasn't too concerned with over brushing, like I said, but there was a bit of a zen to this. Just getting in there, finding the little spots, brushing away, and watching the transformation, being a part of the transformation. It was very satisfying. And yes, that little spot I sanded, I should have put primer on that. <laughs> I'm kind of expecting the paint to flake off there. That was my bad, but that's kind of the fun of it, right? It's, I, I wouldn't call this a lazy process. I mean, in some regards it is, but I wouldn't call it lazy. To me, it's just accepting, accepting the imperfections, right? I, I don't expect this to be the world's best paint job and I don't want it to be. I want to see the brush strokes. I want to see the imperfections. I don't mind if paint flakes off a little bit here and there because I can just come back and add more paint on it and I can make it better than it was before. That's one of my fears with using this flat barn paint is it's not really going to resist abrasion all that well. So I, again, I really am expecting this to kind of flake or chip here and there. And if it's really bad, so be it. I'll come back with some sort of high gloss paint and, and I'll fix that. But I really want to try this flat paint. For the trim, however, I'm going with a high gloss black. I kind of felt that like the high gloss against the flat paint would really just help it pop out. It's a little subtle, but with some respectable pizzazz. And yeah, as you can see here, I'm really not using tape all that much. I, I really don't like using tape too, too much. It definitely has its place. But in this instance, I just felt if I slowed down, I took my time and enjoyed the process, which I am, then it wasn't necessary. I could just get more personal with it. And I really enjoyed that. And yeah, I, I did make mistakes. I, I made little overbrushes here and there, but that's all right. 
I would say I'm embracing mistakes. I'm not even sure if I would call them mistakes. I just like seeing the variations. I, I don't want... I don't want an absolutely flawless, pristine spray paint job. I like looking at all these brush strokes and seeing where I've been, reminding me of the work I've done. That's kind of what this whole thing is about. I thought these bigger pieces, like the bumper, would take a lot more time and be a lot more annoying to paint. But this little cheap brush really isn't too bad about it. It's just a one dollar Dollar Tree brush. It's not a good brush at all. But you know what? It got the job done. So I tried to take some b-roll, um, didn't really come out that great, <laughs> nothing is in focus here. But you can see the, a lot of those brush strokes kind of went away, which is good and bad. I wanted some, but I didn't want too much, so I'll take too little over too much. This one actually kind of came up nice. This does look good. Uh, there's a little spot coming up in the red right there. I guess it's a drip I missed. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'll probably sand that out and retry. Not the hole though. Not too shabby. I'm not mad about it. And so I'm actually not done painting yet. Uh, you can see up here those overhead lights. I removed and put fiberglass, but I haven't finished sanding them down. I forget why. But those will just be black. And then this centerpiece will house the name, of course. It'll be white with black trim around it. I think I was just kind of getting eaten alive by bugs at this point, so I just called it. And, okay, freeze. So this looks terrible. <laughs> and I knew it when I was recording. What's going on is that I came back and touched up around the trim pieces with red, any like over brushed spots I, I messed up on. And then my neighbor came by and he mowed my lawn because I didn't have a lawnmower at the time and he kicked up a bunch of dust. So you're getting this weird contrasted look of fresh paint against really, really, really dirty paint. It doesn't look like that anymore. I just didn't really realize it looked this bad in video. So my bad, this was supposed to be a really cool finishing shot, and it just looks like trash. <laughs> I'm really sorry. But on the whole, I'm really happy with it. There's a few more pieces to come back and finish up. There's more black trim pieces I gotta do. But I think I'm gonna call it for this video. I really appreciate you watching. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed making this video and painting the bus. Stay tuned for next time.